Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today we have something very special for you. It is one of my all-time favorite creatures that you will find in the sea, and it is the flamboyant cuttlefish. Um, if you've never seen one of these, make sure you go and look it up right now. They are probably the most outstanding creature you will ever get to see in your life, and they're the closest thing to alien life form that we have probably seen here on Earth. So, they are like an octopus, but they also have an extra appendage, like a frog, like a chameleon that they can shoot out and catch prey with. So not only can these guys change 8 million hyper colors, and they can morph and imitate all kinds of different creatures under the sea, but they're just absolutely outstanding, just cool. So I'm hoping they hatch for us. I did get two clutches. I wasn't sure, you know, what kind of success we would have. So just, just to make sure I got two. And it's funny, it looks like they were laid here on a piece of coral. You can see like the tip of an agropora here. So they are in there. When you shine the light on, you can see them. I am not sure how far along they are. Um, any of you who know, who have more information and have hatched uh, cuttlefish eggs before, feel free to contact me or leave a question or comment or anything below because I'm just completely intrigued by these. I would love to see them hatch and we are thinking about putting them in here. The only thing is I don't want them to get tormented by anything that could bother them. So not sure if they need some current bubbles, but I am going to start doing research immediately. So I just wanted to make sure in case somebody had some tips that you could share them with us. So there you guys go. Check it out. Look up this, the flamboyant cuttlefish and you will be amazed. So I didn't want to use anyone else's footage without asking them, but there used to be a place that I knew that would sell flamboyant cuttlefish. They would actually breed them. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. But you guys can follow along with us and we'll keep you updated on Instagram. So if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, if you are new to this, please subscribe. Check it out. We try to offer you guys something new every single day and each day we're getting better. So right now, we are gonna bring these guys to Reef of Palooza with us. We have a black ribbon eel and we have a blue ribbon eel. Uh, these guys are absolutely amazing as well. And just because we're bringing the black and yellow boshi sump, I'm thinking about making a little tank in there for this guy to take with us. So those of you who have never seen one, we'll get a chance to see what a black ribbon eel looks like and a blue ribbon eel because you don't find too many of these around. And would you look at that? Oh my gosh, we actually have three of them in there. So we wanted to see how they would do, see if they would fight each other, see what would happen, um, because they're just so cool. And this is the only tank that we have that has a good lid on it so they don't the escape. So those of you who want a tank for an octopus or an eel or something that's, or a goby that are jumpers, you could do one of these Coral Life bio cubes. So. So there you go. I should turn the lights off in a little bit. I just wanted to let these guys, you know, acclimate and see how they would do if they were kicking each other's butts or not. So those are two pretty cool things that we got in. Um, there is some more stuff around the store. Uh, we did just receive our inventory, but just thought I would share those things with you. Um, Christian is in the back and he is working on the project for me. He's putting together and carving the sand waterfall that we will hopefully have done by tomorrow. Probably not, but we have high hopes here. But you can see this is the carving, the structure that we're gonna make. It kind of looks like rocks already. And then when we cover it with the habitat black, the sand should just basically pour out the top and run down here. So this will be underwater. And eventually I will be making some with plants here so you can actually have a little hydroponic system and you can build something halfway in the water and out of the water for like the water box, aquarium, the terra tanks that we have up front. So you can see we have some pond plants here and some other things going on. But eventually, aquascaping and ambiance is what I um, want to focus on. It's nice to have a beautiful tank, but to have something that's ready to, to go for you and something that looks beautiful right to start um, really helps people out. So. We have all kinds of stuff between the driftwood, the bonsais, the stones, dragon rock. Check it out. I love this tank. It is so cool. There's some blue shrimp in there, some red velvets. 
some Riley shrimp. They're having a good time. So, that's our quick little update. We did get some more stuff in, but I just kind of wanted to go over that. Um, like I said, Reef of Palooza countdown is only days away, and there's so much to do that I don't think I'll be able to finish everything in time, but we're just picking off what we can, um, you know, as we go, so. Anything else you guys want to add for today? What's up, Christian? Hello, everybody. You doing good out there, I hope? Christian's helping us. He is putting together some um, bubblers. The only problem with bubbles in salt water um, is the salt creep. You'll notice that you do get salt. So, without having a lid on here, uh, we're trying to prevent that. But with the live rock in here, we're trying to cure rock so we can offer that to people as well and see how it works. But the Marco rock's amazing. It's such a nice rock for any reef. Um, but people keep asking me about cured rock and live rock as well. Oh yeah, Eliza, go ahead. So these are the axolotls. We still have four of the babies. They're not babies anymore. They're getting pretty big. Mm. I haven't done any videos or anything, but just to let you guys know, we still have them. We also have some of the GFP, which is over there if you want to Try to get it yeah. Again. yeah, Eliza just picked up some more of the genetically modified, um, what are these called? Where are they? Oh, you can see one hiding over here. It has a little green tint to it. Whenever you shine the black light on, they get that green glow. So, they're really cool. We're running short on lights here because I obviously took the light from here and I put it somewhere else. So, I will need to order some more lights. But, there you guys go. If you don't leave, I will keep talking, but that is our update. We do got some crazy, crazy Zoas um, that we're adding to our collection each day. Like I said, we're trying to get better things for you guys as well, um, and that's what it's all about. So this is my second update for the day. We did talk about the stability early on today. So those of you who are starting out a tank, there are several products when you are starting out a tank that you should um, think about so that's one of them and this tank's cool too we got little little pee puffers all over in here you just gotta find them 